Hey guys, I want to share with you a very exciting news that Infosys is hiring again. We are going to see about a bulk recruitment drive from Infosys. Lot of people was asking for it. Lot of people are interested in working with Infosys. So we are going to see about Infosys bulk recruitment in today's video. It is eligible for or it is applicable for uh, graduates and also for diploma candidates that too from various categories. So please do watch this video till the end. Also, if you are seeing the channel for the first time, Please make sure you subscribe to the channel and follow us on our Instagram page. So as I've told you, Infosys is hiring again. In our previous videos, a lot of people was asking me, ma'am, when is uh, the Infosys recruitment going to happen again? Are they going to hire next month also? I must tell you that Infosys is hiring on every month, uh, almost every month uh, now, because they are in need of a lot of uh, employees. And they generally post this type of recruitment updates uh, or notifications on LinkedIn platform. Okay, so you have to regularly check the uh, LinkedIn platforms uh, in order to have a notification or in order to have the ideas or knowledge about these type of recruitments. So here now they are hiring for engineering category, diploma, BSc and BCA students. Again, they are hiring for two different posts. The first one is system engineer, second one is operations executive. So this is the two different uh, roles for which Infosys hire people uh, regularly. System engineer is for Engineering related backgrounds and operation executive is for uh, non-coding and diploma category. Okay. Very important thing to be noted here is that the last day to apply is 1st of May. Try to apply for it before 1st of May. Okay. Compensation is again same. This is the general compensation that they offer for system engineer and uh, operation executive. For system engineer it is 3.6 lakhs per annum and for operations executive it is 2.22 lakhs per annum. Okay. So these are the two uh, packages. This is the general uh, package details and all. Now let us have a look on uh, the eligibility. Who all are eligible for system engineer and who all are eligible for operations executive. Let's have a look on that. Hey guys, so we know that without a gate score, without a valid gate score, finding a job in 2022 is a difficult task, especially in order to join government organization, gate scores, a valid gate score is a must thing, right? And we know that Unacademy is India's biggest learning platform with crores of learners and they have already proven that their learners have uh, secured a uh, good score, that is top 10 rank holders of gate uh, are Unacademy learners, okay? So, uh, if you are interested in GATE exams or if you are preparing for GATE and ESC exams, now there is an exciting offer. Now there is a 20% reduction uh, in all uh, subscriptions of uh, an academy. You can uh, use the code ANB10 which is the code for our subscribers and you can take an academy subscriptions and you can prepare for GATE and ESC exams. Also, they are conducting a PYQ test that is uh, previous year questions if you want to prepare they are conducting an academy pyq test through which you can actually uh, you know you can do or practice the previous year questions you can actually test your level of preparation and also you can get a all india rank see for preparing for gate exams and esc exams the best thing to prepare is by practicing the previous year questions right so if you want to previous if you want to uh, do the previous year test or if you want to practice previous year questions you can uh, enroll into the uh, Unacademy PYQ test and use the code ANB10. Okay. Another important thing I want to share with you is that there is a biggest learning festival currently happening on Unacademy platform and there is a very exciting offer as a part of this learning festival. So if you are preparing for IIT uh, JE or if you are preparing for NEET UG or if you are a class 8 to 10, 8 to 12 student, then you can actually take an academy subscription for just 299 rupees. How cool is that, right? And on top of this, you will get a 10 percentage reduction in this 299 rupees if you are using the code ANB10. Okay. So this offer is valid only till April 30th. If you are preparing for IIT JE or if you are preparing for NEET UG or if you are a class 8 to 12 student, you can now take an academy subscription as a part of the learning festival there is only 299 rupees and if you are using the code anb10 you will get again a 10 percentage reduction okay so all the links i'll be putting in description make use of this uh, prepare for gate exams get a valid gate score and placed get placed as soon as possible okay
So I'm going to first tell you about uh, the branches that are eligible for system engineer. Now for system engineer post, B, B Tech, M, E, M Tech, any discipline is eligible. MCA, MSc, Computer Science, Electronics and Maths. Also Physics, Statistics, IT and Information Science. Okay. So this is the uh, requirements or this is the details for system engineer. So these all streams of education is eligible. B, B Tech, all the streams is eligible. MEM tech also all the streams okay in the discipline is eligible now for operations executive uh, BCA that is bachelor of computer applications and BSc from all the branches again all the branches of BSc is eligible now if you consider all the branches of BSc all the branches of BB tech all the branches of MEM tech is eligible operations executive again they are hiring diploma candidates from the streams computer science electronics and communication electrical and electronics and IT so the coding related streams of diploma they are calling for okay computer science it easy triple okay so if you are from diploma background again today's video is for you because a lot of people again ask me for diploma recruitment updates okay so this is the bulk recruitment from uh, infosys last date is uh, may 1st so try to apply before the uh, may 1st okay try to apply this moment itself i must tell you okay Talking about the selection process, I have uh, done a separate video on the selection process of Infosys, especially for system engineer. Uh, you can see uh, that is one person is sharing her experience. Again, I'm going to tell you what is going to happen. Okay, so there will be uh, two rounds only. Okay, the first stage is going to be aptitude test. Second stage is a combination or it is combined together your technical and your uh, HR round. Okay, probably this will happen. Sometimes they will conduct three rounds in which they will be conducting HR round separately. Okay. So uh, that is going to be the selection process. In the aptitude test, what you have to prepare is you have to prepare from aptitude uh, session, reasoning session, your uh, language, little bit language knowledge you should be having, communication skills, some English language related questions you can expect. Okay. This is the ma main areas which you have to prepare. Uh, one, uh, one of my suggestion is that you can also prepare a little bit of coding questions from C, C++, etc. Okay. If that type of questions is coming, you can attempt. Okay. So this is going to be happening on uh, your first stage of selection. It will be an online test. You will be uh, giving the test under camera surveillance. Okay. That is going to be the first stage. Next. Second stage will be consisting of uh, technical questions, which is coming from your uh, resume. Uh, probably uh, the questions will be from your uh, final year project, your uh, seminar details, your whatever skills you are putting in your resume. You no, know? uh, that type of uh, that is from that skills on the questions will be coming. Okay, so that is going to be the uh, technical questions. It will be probably coming from your resume because as you are a fresher, as you are a fresher candidate, the questions probably will be from your resume only. Okay, so you have to submit your resume neatly. All the things which you are uh, writing in your resume should be correct and accurate. Okay. So that is going to be the case with your uh, resume. You have to submit your resume in a proper manner. Resume should be accurate. No false information should be put in your resume. Okay. So that is going to be the second uh, stage. Along with that stage itself, sometimes there will be some, uh, you know, HR type of questions. Okay. Are you willing to relocate? What type of uh, job you are expecting? Uh, what is your you know career growth what do you uh, what is what is your future after five years where do you see yourself these type of questions also you can expect okay so th that is going to be happen again online video conferencing based interview okay this is going to be the selection process okay so salary uh, you don't have to look anywhere salary is a fixed salary which they have given this is the initial payment 3.6 lakhs per annum and 2.2 lakhs per annum is the initial payment okay Again, you can have a change or increment in your payment in the next years or in the subsequent, uh, in the upcoming years. But this is going to be the payment which they are actually offering for system engineer and operation executive. Okay. So, this is the details. Now, let's have a look on the application form. So, this is a very uh, familiar form. Uh, I have actually seen this n number of times. Because uh, whenever you see Infosys recruitment, this is the general form which is a survey form that you have to fill up. So what you have to do is click on I agree and accept. Next, you can see a, a employment application form. See application for employment. This is the form which you have to fill up. Okay. So I'll be giving separate links for system engineer and operation executive. And also for operation executive, there is two categories, right? Separately, I'll be giving the links uh, in the description. Just fill out 
uh, all the important areas there is uh, various questions here after filling the first page just click on the next page you can see the details of your educational backgrounds and all then your skills all the details you have to fill up okay so fill up the form properly and then wait for your uh, you know mail from the infosys team okay so that is all about the infosys recruitment uh, we have seen all the details we have seen the form we have seen the selection process and all again i'll be putting the link in description if you want to have a look about, about the selection process in detail okay so that's all for today's video i'm really hoping that you found the content useful i i'm really hoping this video is useful for all the subscribers out there and year of pass out also i am mentioning here it is 2019 2020 21 and 22 i'll be putting this in the thumbnail also so please make sure you apply before 1st of may that's it thanks for watching and keep on watching